What's up everybody? Welcome back to Eat More Plants with Dawson Watkins. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Mediterranean feast. You're not going to want to miss this. Make sure you watch the entire video and if at any point you like this content, make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell. Join the notification squad. You're not going to want to miss what I'm cooking up. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this. Mediterranean feast. Let's get it. You can't have a Mediterranean feast without some falafel. You're gonna need some green onion, some white onion, some garlic, a green chili, chickpeas that I've soaked overnight. You're not gonna need to use all these. I'm gonna use some of these for the hummus. Some cilantro, some parsley, some salt and pepper, some cumin powder, coriander powder, and cayenne. Got some chickpeas here, one cup, two cups, three cups. Four cups. I'm just gonna give these a quick grind first. We're going in with our onions, our garlic, our scallions, got about four scallions here, our green chili, our parsley and our mint. I just cut off the very bottom of these to remove some of the stem. Going in with a couple teaspoons of salt here. Quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going in with some cumin powder. Two tablespoons of this, some coriander powder, one tablespoon of this, going in with a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and some baking soda. Got about a heaping teaspoon here. Let's blend this up. Gonna have to use this tool for this. All right, you guys might have to take the lid off and scrape down the sides a couple times. If you have a really powerful food processor, I'd highly recommend using one of those. I don't have one of those, so I'm stuck with the Vitamix. Still gets the job done, but a food processor would be preferred. Oh, just dropped some falafel mix right on my foot. Use the pulse function on this, and then while I'm pulsing it, take this thing and keep moving that falafel mix around. Just gonna get this falafel mix in the bowl. Give this a quick taste. Tastes good. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more salt. You don't want it too wet or it won't form into a good ball. Like right now, this is not forming too well. So I'm gonna throw this in the fridge for a couple hours, let this chill, see if some of that water evaporates or it dries out. And if I need to, I'll add some flour to this. All right, real quick, I'm gonna cook the rest of these chickpeas. I'm just gonna cook these in the Instant Pot. I got about five cups of chickpeas here. Pop this lid on. Then we're just gonna cook these on high pressure for 15 minutes. Got a couple of beautiful eggplants right here. I'm just gonna put these on the grill and we're gonna use these to make our baba ganoush. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on these and just grill these on all sides. All right, these eggplants are looking beautiful. All I'm gonna do, take these, move them over to a baking tray here. Then, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Bake these at 375. There goes my tongs. Bake these at about 375 for 20 to 30 minutes. Oh wait, I'm gonna need these. Uh. Ah. You guys also make sure you take a fork or a knife and poke some holes into this eggplant here. That will make sure it doesn't explode in the oven. All right, these eggplants have been in here for 40 minutes and they are looking very nice. You want these to be completely soft. This smaller one here is done. It is soft on all sides, this bigger one. I feel like it could use a little bit more time in the oven, so I'm just gonna take this, set it aside, throw it right back in. 10 more minutes. All right, both of our eggplants are out of the oven. All I'm gonna do, chop this one in half. Make sure your eggplants are cooled down. The eggplant on the inside is nice and soft. Really simple here, you just take a half, run your knife down the eggplant, and remove the innards of the eggplant. Throw these innards into your bowl here. And you can use a spoon just to get the rest of these out. This is all we want here is the, the inside of the eggplant. Just leave the skins. And you can give your eggplant a quick chop here. Just so it's not too chunky. Don't cut this up too much though. You want some chunkiness. Get this in the bowl. 
All right, you see how this eggplant has some extra juice? So I'm just gonna drain this with my hand, make sure we don't have any excess juice in there. All right, let's finish up our baba ganoush here. Really simple, I'm going in with four cloves of finely minced garlic, lemon juiced. We're gonna go in with some tahini here. Going in with some high quality olive oil right here. Start with a teaspoon of salt, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, mix this in. If you don't like seeds in your baba ganoush here, then just remove the seeds from your eggplant before you mix everything else in. I'm gonna mash some of this up. Let's give this a quick taste. Going in with another teaspoon of salt, another tablespoon of tahini. Mix everything in, give this a taste. It's really nice. I'm going in with one more tablespoon of tahini. These were some big eggplants, so six tablespoons of tahini total. Just adjust the seasoning for your liking. If you think it needs more fat or creaminess, add more tahini. If you think it needs more salt, add more salt. If you think it needs more acidity, add more lemon. Baba ganoush. Let's get this in the fridge, let it chill. Chickpeas are done. We'll go ahead and drain these. Spray some cold water over these. All right, let's make a quick hummus here. Got some chickpeas cooked. If you want a smoother hummus, go ahead and remove this outer skin of the chickpeas. You don't want it. I don't have time for all that, so. So we got three cups of chickpeas. We're going in with a half cup of tahini. And this tahini will stick. Make sure you get all of that tahini in the blender. You can also do this in a food processor. Like I said, mine is garbage, so we're going with the Vitamix today. I got three cloves of garlic here going in. I got half a lemon here going in. I got half a tablespoon of salt going in. Quarter cup of water going in, just to help it blend. Going in with two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're just gonna give this a quick blend here. All right, I've been pulsing and blending this for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna give this a taste. Mmm, the fat is there. Needs some more acidity. I'm going in with some lemon juice. Also gonna go in with some more salt. Blend this again. Give this a quick taste. It's perfect. Our hummus is all done here. Put this in the fridge to chill. All right, let's whip up a quick tahini sauce. I got a half cup of tahini going in. Make sure you get high quality tahini. Going in with a half a lemon here. Two cloves of garlic going in. Half teaspoon of salt going in. I got a half cup of water going in. Let's give this a quick blend. Let's give this a quick taste. Needs a little bit more acidity. I'm going in with some more lemon and it needs a little more salt. Going in with a half teaspoon. Going in with a fourth cup more water. Blend this, give this a taste. That's perfect. That's literally perfect. Look at that beautiful tahini sauce right there. Let's go ahead and chill this, put it in the fridge. All right guys, last one here. Stay with me, I know this is a lot of blending today, but we're getting moving here. So I got 15 cloves of garlic going in the blender. One teaspoon of salt, blend this. I really wish I had a food processor. This isn't blending well, so I'm going in with 15 more cloves of garlic. Blend this. Then you're just gonna wanna scrape down the sides. All right, once your garlic is blended well, you're gonna go in with a half cup of oil, and I'm also going in with a half a lemon right into this olive oil. All right, nothing to this. I'm taking this plastic piece off the top of my Vitamix. Pour this oil in as I blend. Pour this oil in nice and slow. Now I'm just gonna go in with some water, about a fourth cup. I'm gonna go in with a half cup of mayo, vegan mayo. Blend this. Let's give this a taste. I'm going in with a quarter cup more of mayo. Give this a taste. Mmm, it's delicious. Got some beautiful garlic sauce right here. Garlic sauce complete. Put this in the fridge to cool. All right, let's make some tabbouleh. To make tabbouleh, you're gonna need, let's say about three quarters of a bunch or one bunch of parsley, three fourths cup of mint leaves, some garlic, some scallion, one lemon, two tomatoes, some salt and pepper, super simple. Let's do this. Go ahead and chop this parsley. Give everything a rough chop here, right into the bowl with it. Let's get our mint leaves here. Right into the bowl with it. Scallions, about a fourth cup of these. A 
slice these thin. You, wanna, you don't wanna bite into a big piece of onion. Right into the bowl with it. Tomatoes. Get these in our bowl. We got our garlic here. Traditionally, this dish is made with vulgar wheat, but I couldn't find any at the store, and honestly, I don't care for the taste of it that much, and I'm going with no vulgar wheat today, but just know, traditionally, this is made with vulgar wheat. Mince this garlic up really fine. Right into the bowl with it. Lemon. Going in with some salt. Say a half teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix this in. And you could do one less tomato. That'd probably be more traditional, but I had another one, so went ahead and put it in there. The bouli. I'm gonna throw this in the fridge to chill. All right, let's make a quick fatouche or cucumber salad. So I'm gonna use about, we'll say, fourth of an onion here. Give this a rough chop. Throw this in a bowl here. We got some more Italian parsley right here. About a fourth cup right in the bowl with it. Two tomatoes. You can leave this out a little bit more chunky. We got half of a large cucumber. Just gonna slice this into quarters, long ways. And then just roughly chop this. Juice of one lemon. Going in with a half teaspoon of salt, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of sumac. Mix this in. And there you have it. Fatouche! Put this in our fridge to chill. Let's make some mujerada. I might be saying that wrong, please forgive me. We're going in with, say, Four tablespoons of oil here. Once that oil's heated up, I'm going in with two onions that I've just thinly sliced here. I got one red one and one white onion. You can use whatever kind of onions you want. We're just gonna cook this low and slow until these caramelize. So stir these periodically and we're just gonna cook this on low heat for about 45 minutes. Real quick, we'll go with a half a teaspoon of salt on these, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Toss these. And we'll check back on these when they're caramelized. Give our onions a quick stir here. All right, let's make the rice. So I got two cups of basmati rice right here, pre-rinsed. Going in with two cups of water. And I'm going in with two teaspoons of coriander powder. Got one teaspoon of cumin powder, one heaping teaspoon, and two teaspoons of salt. I'm also going in with four cloves of chopped garlic here. Mix this all in. We're just gonna pop our lid on right here. Click manual and put this on for high pressure, three minutes. Then you're gonna leave that lid on, let that sit for 15 additional minutes. I got one cup of green lentils here. I'm just gonna fill this with some water. About that much water. Got these on our stove top. I'm just gonna bring these to a boil. Into these lentils, I'm going in with one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Mix this in. All right, these lentils are boiling. I'm just gonna let these boil for about three minutes. All right, it's been three minutes, so I'm just gonna cut this down to low. Pop this lid on here. Actually, give this a quick stir. Pop this lid on here, and we'll let that simmer about 20 minutes, and then we'll check on it. All right, our rice is done. Get you a rice scooper or a fork, and just kind of fluff this rice up. Don't smash it down where it gets mushy. Just kind of give it a nice fluff, and then just set the lid on this while the lentils cook. All right, it's been 20 minutes. Let's give these lentils a quick taste here. They're still a little bit hard. I'm gonna let these go for 10 minutes longer. 10 more minutes have gone by. Most of these lentils are soft. Some of them still have a little bit of a crunch, so I'm gonna go ahead and Put these on for five more minutes with the lid on. All right, these lentils have simmered an additional 10 minutes, so we have 40 minutes total simmering time. So boil these three minutes, then simmer them with the lid on for 40 minutes. Just gonna give these a quick drain. We're gonna take that same oil that we caramelized our onions in, four cloves of garlic, add that to the oil, mix this around.
And this oil right here is basically onion infused oil, if you really think about it. I mean, we caramelize onions in there for like 45 minutes. So it's got a nice onion flavor to it. I'm adding some garlic, because I love garlic. Once that garlic turns golden brown, we're going in with our lentils. Mix this in. And our rice. Mix everything together here. Mix this very well. Let's give this a quick taste here. I'm so pumped to eat this. Mujarada. At this point, just add some salt and pepper to taste. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt here, a little bit of pepper, and there you have it, guys. Mujarada. Well, we're gonna top this with those caramelized onions when we plate, so stay tuned. These right here. All right, let's make some pita bread. So, I got one tablespoon of sugar, one cup of water. Make sure your water is warm, not too hot, just warm. Since I'm using palm sugar, it needs to be broken down because it's kind of solid. So I'm just gonna give this a quick whisk. For that warm water, I'm gonna add some active dry yeast. Mix this in. Let this rest for five minutes. All right, it's been five minutes. You guys see this foam on here? That's how you know your yeast is activated. Now we're going in with two cups of flour and mix this in with your hand. Almost forgot, I'm going in with a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of high quality olive oil. Mix all this in with your hand. Once that dough turns into a ball, flour our counter here, and then just dump this ball right out onto that flour. Flour your hands as well. And we're just gonna knead this for about five minutes. All right, once your dough looks like this, really simple, we're just gonna take some flour, dust our bowl here on the inside, take this ball we got here. We're just gonna cover this, place it in the hottest room in the house for one hour to proof. One hour is up, our dough has proofed and doubled in size. All I'm gonna do, take my handy dandy rice scoop here and scoop this right on the counter. Make sure we flour our counter here. Gonna take this dough, Form it into a hot dog shape here. And we'll just slice this into equal portions. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six portions here. All I'm gonna do, form these into a bowl. Our baking tray. Let's go ahead and get some flour on that. Then we're gonna cover these and put these back in that hot room to proof an additional 15 minutes. I'm just gonna preheat my oven to 400 to make our roasted potatoes and cauliflower. I'm also got some oil here. I'm just gonna get this heated up just to fry our falafel. All right, these are done proofing. Lightly dust our counter with some flour. I got my handy dandy rolling pin right here. I'm just gonna dust that. You don't want too much flour on your surface here, just enough to make it not stick. Then we're gonna take one of our balls here, roll it out like a pita. Once this is rolled out, toss it right back onto our tray here and repeat this process for all of the dough. Last step here, I'm just gonna let these sit on the countertop 15 minutes until we start cooking them. In the meantime, our falafel is looking beautiful here. It's soaked up a lot of that liquid and it's nice and cold right now, very easy to form. If yours is too wet, you can add a couple tablespoons of flour. This step is optional, but I'm gonna add a few sesame seeds to mine. I think they add this in the Lebanese style falafel. I'm not really sure. Time to fry this up. All right, our oil is hot here. All I'm gonna do is form my falafel into balls and work very quickly. And basically just form balls of this, drop them right in the oil. We're frying these at about 325 and it's gonna take about five minutes. And make sure you're flipping these over while they're frying, just to ensure an even cook. Once your falafel looks like this right here, it's all done. Let's get it out of the oil. Set it aside to drain. And that's it, you're just gonna repeat this process until all of your falafel are cooked. All right, while that falafel finishes frying up, all I'm gonna do, take a couple of trays here. We got one tray lined with potatoes, one tray with cauliflower. We got some high quality olive oil right here, going all over this and some salt. Give these a good toss here. 
and be generous with the olive oil on these cauliflower. Make sure it's coated on every crevice. Something beautiful happens whenever olive oil and cauliflower combine in the oven. I don't know what it is, but I've done them oil free and it's just not the same. Potatoes go on the bottom rack. Cauliflower is going on the top rack. Oven's preheated to 400. We'll leave those in there about 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, falafel is done. I'm just gonna get this out of the oil. Beautiful fried falafel. All done. All right, last step for our pita here. Just gonna get some oil in a hot pan here. Let that heat up. Going in with my pita. 60 seconds on that side. Flip it. 60 seconds on that other side. Back over. Get this out of the pan. Set aside. Then we're just gonna repeat here. Going in with our pita. Our pan is pretty hot here, so 30 seconds on this side. Flipping it over. 30 seconds on that other side, flipping it back over. Just keep flipping this back and forth until it's golden brown on all sides and the dough is thoroughly cooked through. Pita bread complete. All right, 30 minutes is up. Let's take a look at our cauliflower. He's a little bit longer. All right, this cauliflower and potatoes has been in the oven for 40 minutes now. It's all done here. Beautiful cauliflower and potatoes. All right, guys, let's get this set up here. I'm gonna take my tahini sauce, make this the centerpiece. I'm gonna throw that right in the middle. Take our falafel and just kind of circle this around here. Falafel. I'll plate it here. I'm gonna take a little bit of sumac, sumac. Just put it in our tahini sauce right there. I'm gonna do the same with the baba ganoush here. I'm gonna take a few parsley strands and just place them in random places on this falafel. Set that aside. We got our hummus right here. I'm gonna take a few of these chickpeas, just toss them right in the middle there. Some high quality olive oil, just a light drizzle. I'm gonna take some paprika here. Just go around the sides here. Set that aside, we got another clean bowl here. Going in with the mujerada. Hope I'm saying that right, y'all. I really don't know how to say it, I'm sorry. Got some caramelized onions here. Go ahead and top this mujerada. Wow, beautiful caramelized onions here. Put a little piece of parsley right there. Go ahead and set that aside. Let's get another clean plate here. We got some roasted potatoes. Hit these with a little bit of chopped parsley. Nothing too fancy here. I'm gonna hit these with a little bit of paprika as well. Set these aside. Another clean plate here. Roasted cauliflower. Hit that with a little bit of chopped parsley as well. Real quick, we'll just throw some parsley down right here. All around our falafel here as well. Put a lemon right there, lemon right there. And there you have it, Mediterranean feast. We got beautiful roasted cauliflower, roasted potatoes. We got some mujerada, our fresh made pita, garlic sauce, hummus. We got our baba ganoush, tabbouleh, Fatouche, or cucumber salad, and of course, our beautiful homemade falafel with tahini sauce. 
That's it, y'all. Don't tell me you're not impressed. A beautiful Mediterranean feast. All right, I'm tired, let's eat. All right, y'all, let's do this. It's time to eat. Oh, I don't even know where to start, I really don't. Just know that I've been in the kitchen for about 12 hours for y'all. 12 hours. Totally worth it though, because of this moment right here. All right, let's get us a couple falafel here. Yum. A little bit of this tahini sauce. Yum. Some hummus. Put that on our plate right there. One more falafel. Some baba ganoush. Oh man. I know y'all's mouths are watering, because mine is. Some of this tabbouleh. Get it on the plate. Some of this, what is this? Fatouche, or cucumber salad action. Get it on the plate. What else? A Little bit of garlic sauce right here. Mmm. Oh yeah. Some uh, roasted potatoes, I'm using my hands. They're clean. Y'all please don't judge me. Some roasted cauliflower right here. And, what am I missing? Oh yeah. We gotta have this mujerada. Sorry, my head's been cut off this whole time. I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to get a good shot for y'all, but I'm also trying to get my head in the shot, so forgive me. Work with me here, y'all, work with me. Some mujerada with caramelized onions on there. Oh my goodness. Get you a bite of this. Get you a bite of that right there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yo, I'm starving, I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything today. Let's make some room here. Cool. Now, get you a pita, fresh made in the Eat More Plants official kitchen. Get you a pita right here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. My mouth is watering. Dip it right in that hummus and that mujadada. That's how we're gonna start it. Just warm up the taste buds with that right there. Get you a bite. Mediterranean feast done right. Mm, mm, mm. Now. Nah. <laughs> Homemade pita, y'all. There's nothing like it. Mm. A little bit of roast cauliflower with the uh, mujadada. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. It's time for the main event here. Well, I wouldn't even say this is the main event, but this is definitely a heavy hit, a heavy hitter in this meal. The falafel. Get you some hummus on there. All right, take that to the dome. Mmm. Y'all see the falafel, the green on the inside? Mmm. It's beautiful. It's super tasty. Seasoned perfectly. Mm. Wow. I love Mediterranean food. It's kind of like all whole foods, you know? It's like highly unprocessed, if that makes sense. Get you some potatoes right here. Roasted potatoes. If you haven't roasted cauliflower and potatoes in your oven, you're playing yourself. Mmm. Mmm. 
Now, I need another one of these. Roasted potatoes. Get some hummus on there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we need to balance it real quick. I literally want to... I'm getting too excited. Like, I want to try everything at once. All right. Get you a bite of this. Fatouche. Right? Yeah, it's Fatouche. A.K.A. Cucumber Salad. Mmm. That balances your palate. Now. Another, another bite of this pita here. Hold on. Y'all see that pita? Beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. I can't tell if it's focused. I'm too far from the camera. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm bad with this camera. I'm getting better, though. Alright. Get you a bite of this. Baba Ganoush on homemade pita. Take it to the dome. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good, man. That is so good. Some tabbouleh. Bulgur wheatless tabbouleh. I didn't use any bulgur wheat because I don't care for it. Mmm. That's perfect. That tastes just like the restaurant. Everything does, man. Get you another falafel. Let's dip it in tahini this time. Change it up, you know what I mean? Tahini sauce. Falafel. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Taste that with a potato and some garlic sauce. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all. Y'all, I'm serious. I'm serious on this. Y'all gotta try some of these recipes. Eating plant-based is too easy, y'all. Too easy. Mm. You're actually... You're missing out if you're not eating plant-based. I mean, it's a fact. If you're still eating that chicken and rice BS, man... Stop all that. Get you some homemade pita. Put it in the baba ganoush. Put some mujerada on that. You know what I mean? And a falafel right on top of that. Except we're going to eat this right now. Chase it with this. Mm. <clears throat> Man. Lighten up your palate with this cucumber salad. Mm. A little more of that roasted cauliflower. And you know what? A couple more potatoes on there too. Can't forget about them potatoes. Yo. Hummus. Tabbouleh. The flavor never ends here. And any more plants in the kitchen? Oh. Excuse me. In the Eat More Plants official kitchen, the flavor never ends. It never ends. It's ongoing forever. Forever. Mm. If you know, you know.
That's it. All right, y'all, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I put in a lot of hard work for y'all. I got a lot of dishes to do. I'll catch you guys next time. Eat more plants, y'all. Shh.